Today, we're going to go through port forwarding from the outside of the network to the inside of a network. For example, you may have a web server that's running behind PFSense and it has an internal LAN IP address and you want to be able to access that from the outside, uh, from the outside network, whatever uh, your WAN connection is. All right, so as you can see in this little uh, text edit file here, I've got a, a good example um, of of some of the IPs and some of the services that we may, you know, in, in theory want to, to forward. So our, our PFSense internal IP address is 172.16.73.5 and we have a imaginary web server running on 172.16.73.10. Uh, it doesn't actually exist so this will, won't actually go anywhere but we're just going to pretend. Um, it is running a Apache web server on ports 80 and 443 for HTTP and HTTPS. So therefore, we're going to want to forward uh, a TCP uh, protocol on 80 and 443 to the internal web server IP address. And uh, just for fun, our uh, external IP address is 192.168.0.239. Okay. So, uh, and you can see that the WAN and LAN that I've referenced here are actually showing up here in the dashboard. All right, so uh, port forwarding in PFSense is actually very straightforward, very easy. Uh, you just go to firewall, go to NAT, and as you can see, I don't have any rules. I'm not uh, forwarding any ports from the outside world into the internal network. So we're gonna click add, um, and so the interface is going to be the WAN interface. That's where we want to take traffic from, and we want this rule to be listening on the WAN interface. And the protocol is going to be TCP, and the destination is going to be WAN address. So we're basically saying anything that is destined for the WAN IP address, which would be 192.168.0.239, we want to take any traffic that's pointed to the WAN address and any traffic that is uh, trying to go to port uh, 443, which is HTTPS. Um, we want to redirect any HTTPS traffic going to the WAN IP address. We actually want to take that and redirect it to the internal Apache web server that is running on 172.16.73.10. Um, and then so then the redirect target port could actually be something other than the port that they're trying to come in on. But in this example, we're just going to leave it the same. So if they're coming in on 443, we want to just keep that port number where it is and just shoot it on down to our uh, internal web server. Okay. And it's always a good idea to throw a description in. So we could say test internal and uh, that is it. You don't have to set anything else. Okay, so we hit save and hit apply. And as soon as the uh, filter reload finishes, which is pretty much instantly in our case, that is set up, ready to go. You could um, use the external IP address from the outside of the network uh, and, and get in through PFSense and be routed to your uh, internal web server, okay? So that takes care of HTTPS. Um, chances are, if you're running 443 and uh, HTTPS, you probably are gonna want uh, HTTP on port 80 redirected as well. So um, you can either add a new rule and start from scratch, or you can come over here and click this fancy little uh, copy button, and it's going to start a new rule based on the uh, rule that we just did. So um, that's kind of nice because the only thing we're going to change um, is HTTPS to HTTP and HTTP. The redirect target IP is the same. We're still listening on the WAN uh, interface and we're still listening uh, for anything destined for the WAN address. And we will make sure that we label that HTTP so we know the difference. Uh, and that's it. So save, apply. And with these two rules, we are actually taking anything coming to our external WAN IP address in PFSense 
and we are forwarding uh, HTTP and HTTPS traffic uh, to the internal web server. So um, you could keep going with all kinds of different uh, port numbers and servers. And uh, where it gets tricky is um, if you had you know, two servers, two individual servers, and you both wanted them listening on uh, 443 and 80, um, you would have to do some clever things with your servers, like the actual Apache uh, web config, because you can't really point, um, you know, traffic coming in on one IP address. You can't point it to two different places on the same port. I, I hope that makes sense. So um, that's all there is to it. Once you get these rules set up, um, you'll be good to go. And obviously the protocol being TCP, it may be UDP if you are doing um, a, a different type of server or if it's uh, you know, DNS or whatever. Um, you can actually select both. I'll edit this rule and show you that. You can do uh, TCP, uh, UDP, or either, you know, the TCP slash UDP would be anything coming in on a certain port, whether it's TCP or UDP, you know, go ahead and, and take it and forward it on. So that that's, uh, that's pretty cool too. Um, for web traffic, it's going to be TCP. All right, so that is pretty much it. And um, this was a, a pretty quick video, but there was a, um, a question in the comments that I wanted to try to uh, get answered uh, pretty quickly. So um, if you uh, have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks.